Justin Martyr was an early church father and apologist born in 100 AD and died for his faith in Rome in 165 AD. He also influenced Irenaeus, who was the disciple of Polycarp, who was the disciple of the Apostle John. Some believe Justin Martyr was even the disciple of Polycarp alongside Irenaeus. In this video, we're going to prove that Justin Martyr believed that the, that the Son is Jehovah God, while distinct from God the Father and the Holy Spirit, and was therefore a Trinitarian. Here, in his debate or dialogue against Tripo, chapter 56, he mentions the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in this very same context, and he says, quote, Some other one, that is the Son, is called Lord by the Holy Spirit besides him, that is the Father, who is considered maker of all things. Then he argues that Christ, distinguished from the Father, is called God and Lord, quoting Psalm 110, verse 1, and Hebrews 1, 8 to 9, and appeared to Abraham as Yahweh in Genesis 18, 1. So feel free to read this quote carefully to verify what I just said. Then, then in the same chapter, linking the same point, he says one of the three men who appeared to Abraham in Genesis 18 was God and Lord, the other two were angels, and the Lord who stayed behind and communed with Abraham and reigned sulfur and fire from the Lord, that is the Father in heaven, in Genesis 19.24 was actually Christ. We know that the one he's referring to in Genesis 18 and 19 was undeniably the Lord God, and obviously he understood that too, applying those verses to the Son. Clearly Justin Martyr believed that Christ was Jehovah God and the Creator while personally distinct from God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Justin Martyr also wrote in his first apology, chapter 63, that it was actually, quote, indeed the Son of God who spoke as Lord God to Moses in the burning bush and emphasized it is false teaching to say it was the Father and condemned anyone who taught that the Son is the Father. He basically said those people do not know God. He even says the first begotten word of God was God himself and became man by a virgin according to the counsel of the Father for the salvation of those who believe in him. Clearly he taught two divine persons in this quotation and the spirit of prophecy mentioned here it could be the Holy Spirit. Justin Martyr also wrote in chapter 61 of his first apology, quote, For in the name of God, the Father and Lord of the universe, and of the Sa our Savior Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit, they then receive the washing with water. Here he mentions the three persons and agrees with the triune baptism that Trinitarians administer. Matthew 28:19. This is a strong triune statement by Justin Martyr. Conclusion. Justin Martyr had no problem mentioning the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the very same context, treating them as three distinct persons, and describing the Son as, quote, God and Lord, and maker of all things. He condemned modalism or oneness doctrine and clearly mentioned, quote, the Son of God, pre-existing at least to the time of Moses. Now, I'm not sure if he believed in the eternal Son. He might have, but he certainly believed that Jesus Christ in his pre-existence was Jehovah God, and yet not the Father. These descriptions are very, very Trinitarian and were very, very early in church history, long before the Nicene Creed in 325 AD. He didn't live too far from the apostles themselves. He certainly wasn't an Arian or a Unitarian, and he died for his faith, even in Jehovah the Son. His Trinitarianism may have not been detailed or perfect, but this was simply a short and concise video proving that Justin Martyr believed in the basics of Trinitarianism. Of course, our ultimate authority is ultimately the Bible, the perfect Word of God, and the Bible also clearly teaches the triunity of Jehovah God. John 1, Hebrews 1, Colossians 1, John 5, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. So many triune statements like Ephesians 4, 4 to 6 mentions the one God, the one Lord, and the one Spirit. That's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity is all over the place in the New Testament. In fact, it's pretty much assumed in the New Testament. And that's simply true. So let's trust in the triune God. Let's fear Him. Let's love Him. Let's acknowledge Him. He is our Creator. He is the God of the Bible. And may grace be with you. Thank you for watching.